Hello, James Stewart here. Well, I'm going to help you with making Gang Shark codes using Nemu. But first, I just wanted to show you I've got the Japanese Super Mario 64 N64 card. I still need to get an importer before I can play it. Alright, let's go on to making the codes, okay? Right, as I haven't got any good uh, screen capture software for the whole screen, uh, I'm having to use my camera cord, so I hope that's okay. Now, so we've got Nemu open, let's load up the NTSC USA ROM. Oh, don't you love these abbreviations? Now I'm going to load a state just to speed things up. Okay, here we go. Now we want to find the Mario object to play with him. Yeah, we do. So we need to go to a certain um, website. By, let's see, Super Mario 64 exposed by James S, whoever that is, I don't know. Um, and we need to go to graphics pointer values. Right, so Mario is a common object, so we copy and paste the value of Mario. See, copy, yep, hard word, copy. Um, but if you want to do it the long way, you can memorize it. Um, and then edit and paste into a calculator that has hex support. See, hex is uh, selected. So the Windows calculator will do fine. Now we want to convert from PAL, because these are PAL values, into NTSC. So if you read at the top, it says we need to add A940 to the PAL version to get the NTSC value. <laughs> uh, right. Now, get the calculator back and add and paste, sounds a bit strange, equals, there we go, then copy the result, so now that's converted to NTSC, by simply adding that value, that doesn't work for all things by the way, but it does for this, now search, now paste the value, or if you've memorised it, type it in, make sure 32 bits is selected, and then click on the almighty search button. Wow! Now there's seven results. Now you could try out each one, but I'm gonna tell you that it's the last one. Now back up a bit to get to the start of the object, which is 0, 0, 0.018. Now see this 2-1 here, recently I did a code so that objects always face the camera. I'm going to let you into a secret how it works. Change that 2-1 to 2-5. Now the game is not going to blow up, but you should see the same familiar. Oh, oh, Mario is always facing the camera. Oh, oh, he looks like a glitch. Oh, he can't get enough of Luca. Wow, so see, see that? Yeah, pause. Change back to 2-1. That. and let's see if Mario, oh, he's normal again, he's had enough fluker. Ah, so how do you turn that into a code? Well, I mean, there are two important parts, well, three really, but two important, important. On the left-hand side, we have the address 0034B888. Now, if you add, you get 89AB. So, let's make a code. Options, Game Shark Cheese. Now, new code, quite simple you'll remember, like Mario, Mario, Face, uh, Cam, uh, and then Add. Now, it's an 8 bit value we want to put there, so 8 0. If it had been 16 bit, it would be 8 1. Now, 3 4 b 8 8 b then in the second part we put the value which is 0 0 2 5 ok now ok yep ok and uh, where is it it's there ok add it to the list and select not delete ok now Nemu is quite resource hungry so it can take a few seconds for it to react I said a few seconds, Nemu. Why, oh, you little Nemu comment? Ah, thank you. Now, unpause. And see, Mario's always facing the camera. Okay? 
There we go, you made the code. Now, I know this can get quite confusing, and I'm going to confuse you even more. See the naught naught, put in an 8. It's the same thing, apart from the search result was gone. It gets a bit confusing between the address and the game shark code because they look the same thing. But if you put in 81, you'll get to somewhere else. See, it can't even display it. Just remember when you're making a code, ignore the first two parts. See, the first two digits, because it'd be 8 naught for 8 bit, 81 for 16 bit. D0 for 8 bit activator, D1 for 16 bit activator. Well, I'm showing off now, but you, you see the point. You know, if you confuse, you can ask me. But there we go, just for um, a start, um, making a simple code. Well, thanks for watching. I hope that's helped, and bye for now.